Hello everyone, welcome to the free psychic weekend reading with me, Natalie, spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. I'm very happy to be here and to do this message for you guys because the download is... Okay, first it is... St <laughs> they were channeling the lyrics for Still the One, that Shania Twain song that they channeled before. And they, they got on this one little part where she says... It's where she's talking about how other people didn't think that they were going to make it. <laughs> That's the part that they like really zoomed in on and brought to the forefront of my attention. And then psychically tuning into this. Um, and just in case this is your first reading, reading with me. Hello and welcome. Have a seat. Hope you, hope you enjoy yourself. Um, the downloads I get, I, I can't help them. Like they, I'm just living my life, living my Natalie life, and then boom, download. The psychic tunings are when I sit down, and I do my energy work, and I, I tune into the energies and get more information. Okay, so it's like listening to a song at the store that you can't help because you just happen to be shopping there, versus tuning to a specific station to hear a specific music playing. Okay, guys, let's get into this. Um, oh, the, I didn't even finish. Okay, so the tu psychically tuning into the energies. A lot of um, crown energy opening up, like literally right here. So I feel like... Um, it feels like someone... Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So they're connecting it with that lyric, the Shania Twain lyric about didn't think we'd made it. Someone didn't think that you would make it or, okay, I, I'm either connecting with you or someone that you're connecting to, okay? So you or someone else, it's like someone didn't, or a group of people or a lot of people or everyone in your life um, just didn't think that you could do something. And this feels like a personal achievement. This could apply at work and career. However, it really feels like People didn't expect you to grow beyond a certain maturity level or intelligence level. It really feels like an intelligence thing that people saw you as having mental limits as far as... Because they gave me this, this crown mentally expansive energy up here. So it's like, oh, well, they're never going to be able to do X, Y, and Z because they're never going to change their position. They're never going to think differently. They're never going to, you know, okay, whatever. And then you go and you learn from mistakes or you have experiences that you need to have. And then all of a sudden you, you're, you're growing through something and they're like, what? That wasn't supposed to happen. Or, and, or it has to do with love. It has to do with someone not thinking that you can take a risk in love. For some of you, it's taking a risk in love. And for others, it's like, yeah, you can take the risk all day, but you can't sustain or, or you can't commit when the going gets tough or you can't um, balance, bring it back into balance when it becomes unbalanced. And when, you know, it's, it's, it's really tricky and it's really difficult with this interpersonal relationship stuff that they're like giving me. And it's, it's part of how people look at you in terms of, oh, well, they're always, so-and-so is always going to have trouble in, in her marriage, or he's never going to find some things consistent. You know, it's like they think this of you, and then you go and have emotional experiences and grow through it, and you don't just keep hitting the wall. I feel like people have been observing you hitting the wall and thinking that you're just going to stay there, not really expecting you to break through that wall. I'm not sure why I'm getting how other people are seeing you so strongly. I usually just get like the energy from, not of, and I'm getting the energy of and from. So it's sort of interesting for me to channel. So let's see what this is about here. This, um, these people, too many cards, these people that didn't, oh my gosh, didn't think that you could really feel this way about someone. So this is speaking directly to those of you who could be perceived as having some sort of emotional block or some sort of, for some of you, it's even, it's like you're perceived as being sort of cold or 
um, aloof or just difficult to get close to. And so it's like there's someone in your life or there's something going on with you where you are really opening up and you are, you're just this is my Romeo card. This is this is a this is a very romantic card. Now, what is romance? What does romance really mean? What does that mean to be romantic or to feel romantic feelings? It's it's at the very purest form, absolute genuine consideration for how someone else is experiencing you and the experience that they're having. It's being so in love with someone else's happiness and just you just really do want them to you know like on a on a date or something you know oh you know is 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 are they too warm should i is, are they too cold are you know their lips look dry like are they they're smacking their lips are they thirsty you know are they do they need hand moisturizer do they have to go to the bathroom you know are they uncomfortable here is there anything around that could be making them uncomfortable? it's just I mean that's a little neurotic but it's it's really just going that extra mile to think about someone else in the most minutia of life experiences like you know even just sitting and waiting for for your table to be called or waiting in line or grocery shopping you know little things it's it's this is what's surprising other people about you is that maybe you weren't like that before or maybe you just weren't really inspired by anyone to be that considerate you just never organically thought of other people that way and this is like surprising those around you because it's like all of a sudden now they're romantic like what happened you know like all of a sudden now they now they're speaking very softly now they're speaking very eloquently it could also it also they're also telling me that you have patience Oh, this person has like, yeah, they, it's a soft spot. There's this person and then I feel like it's because you're, you are genuinely in love or the person you're connecting to is genuinely in love. But it's like, it's interesting that it's really surprising everybody around you. There's something very special about this person to activate this in you because I feel like this could be like a, a knight of cups coming from someone perceived as like an emperor is how it feels like like oh you know if you've conquered business and finances and wealth accumulation and wealth preservation and multiplication of wealth pentacles 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 then this is like your emotional side is just very very private and locked down and that's what people are now seeing of you and on the flip side if you're normally very you know over emotional or just very emotionally expressive and it's oh they're always falling in love with someone they're always you know la di di la di da then this is a real turn in that as well it's it's bringing out something much much more visibly sincere whereas before you came across as sort of obsessive or not even obsessive but just um like a pendulum they're showing me a pendulum where there's really no middle there's just where you are perceived as either being in heavy crush mode where you just really really um like almost almost obsessively really really into someone but for very either superficial or it's like you're in love with love thank you that's what it is scrap everything it's in love with love that they're being very clear about this they want me to clarify that you would come off or come across as either as being in love with love instead of being in love with a person so you were like trying to convince yourself like oh this person's gorgeous or this person's great or this per you know it's like a lot of pedestaling and um and still sort of compartmentalizing them like they really hadn't gotten to your heart and soul you just kind of looked at them and mentally told yourself okay well i could love them i could you know they're you know but this is something that really gets to your heart the heart of the matter the heart of your heart hmm. That's exactly, what, oh, holy moly. This is your the heart of your heart. This is the heart of your heart. They just, they're saying that now, the heart of your heart, the heart. This is the heart of their heart. <laughs> okay. So the sun, this is, this person is like the happiest. This, they, this person for you, or you are going to be this person to someone else, or you are this person to someone else and you're married. You know, however this is resonating with you, this is the ultimate source of happiness for you. This is 
this person makes you, I, I don't know how else to emphasize it. I just let the visual vibrations wash over you. The sun is the happiest card in the whole deck. Out of all 78 keys, the sun is the absolute happiest. The ace of cups is the holy grail of relationships, of connections. This is a connection that only gets deeper and more emotionally fulfilling over time. It will never get smaller and dissipate. This is something that just grows and grows and grows and grows and grows and grows and grows. And grows. The more you invest in each other or the more that you're just around each other. And this is a lot, what I'm seeing is like moth to a flame. Moth to a flame. It's just like who they are, how they express themselves. Like just it's it's and and that's why it's different this time is because you just never met someone like this. Like with the sun, I'm getting a lot of individuation, a lot of individual self-expression. Someone here is very free or um, they don't have to be outgoing. They just have to be like unique. The, who they are, they're just very, they are happy with themselves in the sense of they're very much aligned. I feel like this is a person who is able to generate so much happiness for you because they're doing that for themselves already. This isn't someone that goes out of their way to make anyone else happy. They're making themselves happy. They're they're like this little happy baby down here. Like, yay! Yahoo! <laughs> okay. With the eight of staves, this could be love at first sight. This could happen sort of quickly. Or, or if like the whole interaction and the relationship doesn't happen super quickly, you fall in love with this person like... Boom. Done. <laughs> okay, it's like giving birth to this great love. And it's real. It's very real and it's very overwhelming for you. Like you're like this. You're Romeo, you're like, okay, I've got my cup, I got the water. But it's like you're trying to cross the stream with all of that rushing water over there. It's like right around the bend, this big, now you're in gushing, overflowing land of water, okay? So now the water overflows and it just keeps overflowing. That's why, you know, it's like when you start to get into this connection, it's just like layers and layers and layers. There's just more and more and more. I can see you guys, like you talk for four hours the first time on the phone or something like that. You know, you, you the more you know, the more you want to know. The more you learn, the more, you know, it's like, and it's going to stay like that with that Ace of Cups. Like, that's why it's the Holy Grail. It's not like it has a limit. It's not like you're just going to be bored or disinterested or emotionally removed, emotionally detached. You're only going to feel more emotionally full the more you two are together. And I feel like this person is such a strong little, I am getting like a little planet. They're like a little source of energy, but so strong. <laughs> such a strong little, you know, like their little faces are like really bright or something. They're, they're, they're generating their own energy field, their own little electromagnetic vibration. And I feel like that's why it's like moth to a flame. It's like they don't need anything to burn bright. Like they don't need you. They don't need, you know, whatever they're doing, they're doing it right. Whatever they're doing in their life, they're self-sustaining in the sense of they radiate like the sun. The sun does not need a match to get it lit or stay lit. Okay, doesn't need, okay, the sun's like the sun. This person, it's like they're just, you just want to bathe in their warmth their personality, the things that make them happy, what they like to talk about, what gets them excited, gets you excited. And it's, there. there is, even if you're different, very, very different people, if you come from different places or different countries, there's so much happiness to be had. There's just so much enjoying of the good things with each other. I mean, I just, it's just really interesting. Oh, there's, hold on. Oh, that's interesting. So they're showing me how before, how the first thing was like the, the, this opening up, they're opening their minds. They're opening their, they are opening their hearts. Yes. But it really is, I, they're really emphasizing this um, open-mindedness. I feel like there's open, let's start clarifying. I feel like there's an element of open-mindedness 
having to do with this? Oh, someone, I don't know who I just channeled right there, but someone thought you would never go for that type of person is what I just got. Ooh. People could be um, really jealous. Let's clarify the Knight of Knight of Cups, Ace of Swords, Justice, and the Eight of Cups. Wow. Holy moly, Masacholi. So this is interesting. When I gave that example about, you know, let's say you conquered, you know, the career and you're, you're financially stable, la di di la di da and this is someone who really opens up your heart in a really big, beautiful way. This is, this is like the card of walking away from material success to pursue to pursuit, to pursue spiritual knowledge and, you know, evolution of your own soul and the process of maturation of your individuality. It's your own individuation. It's you taking your maturity, your uniqueness, your life into your own hands and walking away from something that really wasn't fulfilling in the first place or it wasn't sustaining. It just wasn't enough, okay? With the justice and the... <laughs> This is the same sword. It's the sword of truth. Okay. So, for, and it's interesting because it was like yesterday's the, um, I'm haunted by love and like the, the love that's been coming through has been showing up as like the lovers and justice. So I feel like it's, it must be like, um, for all these little different love stories that you guys are going through, I feel like justice is a huge part of it. Okay. And truth and honesty and integrity. I feel like that's what you or this person is heading towards. It's like, it's like, oh, thank you. They're leaving superficiality behind. That's what they're leaving behind. They're leaving superficiality behind in search of truth, honesty, integrity, justice, fairness, equality, strength, victory. They want victory for their soul. They want, they, they want this. They want the good stuff. They want the good life. And whatever they were into before, it was not giving, giving, it was not, okay. This could be a relationship. This could be um, something business, financial, but I feel like it's more of a concept and that's going to mean something different for all of you or whoever you guys are connecting to. But they are walking away from, okay, it's, it's, they're giving me the thing again. It's walking away from a limiting belief or a thought for the majority of you guys. That's why they're like, well, I never, they never thought they would go for that guy. So you or this other person could be broadening your consideration of who you would normally be into. But I feel like it's sort of, I feel like it was sort of out of your control to be very honest with you guys. I feel like this person was just shining so bright that you just naturally gravitated to them. And I feel like all of this and I feel like that was happening sort of beneath the surface or in the background. I don't, I think other people are going to think that, but for how you're, I'm thinking from, not of now, it's, you didn't make that choice. You didn't make the conscious decision to, to just like leave this behind and go and search for all of this. I feel like it was led with your heart. I feel like this person just they they just took over they just like oh my gosh they're so great and i feel like you really didn't decide oh i'm gonna go and look for someone totally different than everyone i've ever dated i i i feel like it just happened or it's about to happen or it's happening now whenever i'm catching you and you guys tune into this reading all of my readings are timeless remember so anything in the archives could still resonate now whatever you're drawn to Okay, so, so that's going to be a misconception that some of you are going to have to face. And I feel like some people are going to be upset about it that, oh, well, why not me? Or, oh, that's not fair. Or, you know, something like that, because it's going to look, it's going to, it's going to, I feel like people's eyebrows are going to go, mm. okay, people are going to go, what? Let's go ahead and clarify this. Beautiful energy over here, the heart of your heart. 
the heart of your heart, the sun, the the ace of cups, ooh, the four of swords. Oh my gosh. Wow, this person this is you guys oh my god whoever i'm channeling you guys have hit the freaking jackpot because this person with their warm rays of light and their 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 freaking water of love over here their overflowing cup their cup runneth over so now your cup runneth over look at this you have unlimited of all of these beautiful elements like except earth you have air fire water and it's like a lot of all of that okay so it's a lot of communication conversation never goes stale it's all the love the love never diminishes it only grows and it's all happiness it's all bright sunshine happy days every day is a bright happy sunny day for you too and even the days where there some days are harder than others it's just like there are going to be moments of the day that are harder than others. But every day, you're going to love each other. Every day. Maybe not all day, every day. But every dang goddamn day, you're going to be happy with this person. You know why, guys? It's because this person rejuvenates you. This Four of Swords is rejuvenation. This person just like recharges your batteries. And you didn't get that with anyone else. Everyone else probably took something from you. They took your energy. They took your attention they took your money maybe for some of you to like oh can i you know they might have just like they just took from you they just took your resources took your you know whatever and this person they just give to you they give you stimulating conversation they give you warm consideration they give you lots of love and that recharges your soul that's why they're the heart of your heart because they they keep everything else going. They keep, oh, they keep your heart going. Oh, they just showed me like a little heart within a heart. Wow. Wow, guys. That's, that's really, that's really kind of cool. Wow. And there, like I'm saying, there is that element of open-mindedness. And I feel like that might have happened. If this is you, if you're about to be really stirred up right here emotionally then I can tell you that I don't think you're gonna feel what I felt like with the whole sensation I feel like it's gonna happen sort of organically and it's just gonna be really led by your heart like this person's going to they have a, it's like a soft spot like other people don't affect you this way other people talking and expressing themselves expressing how they feel about you like doesn't do anything for you it's just like this person there's something about this person that they they're going to get the best of you i can tell you that right now and that's another reason why that whoever i channel they're like ah. it's like maybe you never treated anyone else this well before or you're about to treat someone better than you've ever treated someone else like all your exes and people don't understand it. it to other people it's like well other people are attractive other people talk about interesting things other people love this person other people shine very bright well how come you know it's stiff well it just wasn't it wasn't truth honesty and integrity it wasn't it wasn't what it was it just wasn't it okay and we have the last card coming out we have the judgment this is the end my only friend the end this is the end this is the end of the the end of the search and i actually don't feel like this person was searching you or this person but you just came up at the end like i found it <laughs> i found it i found it you know it's like they could have even given up if they gave up on finding love this is going to be even more like love at first sight i just heard love at first bite that's going to be for some of my little gothy people on youtube okay love at first bite oh you guys okay I haven't released it yet because I have to, it has to go through like post and editing, but Scorpio's weekly, 
oh my god they channeled so much gothic romance they channeled him razor blade romance greatest love songs volume 666 love and death embrace for you join me in death i mean all these like romantic gothic songs oh my god okay that's coming i'm sorry i shouldn't say that it's coming out next week i know you guys are gonna have to wait for it i'm gonna set them to publish on the days okay guys um yeah so if <laughs> oh, I, that'd be so cute if i had like little i love goth i love the looks i love i love love the goths okay so if i have any goths on the if we have any goths on the watch natalie channel, just like hey um okay Sorry, I had to like really bring it in. I just, it was weird though. It was like a, a major flashback to when I was like a teenager and had the hugest crush on Villa Vallo from him. You know, um, I was like, whoa. <laughs> so, anyway, okay, so yeah, if this person stopped looking for their soulmate, if they stopped believing in soulmates, if they stopped caring, if they stopped putting their attention into it, they're about to just get hit with the stick of love. And, the, and but it's really nice because it's a very organic, authentic surprise. You know, so let's not take that from anybody. You know, it's 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 really like the most ideal way for people to fall in love. It's like, you know, even if this person is on Tinder, on websites, whatever, and it's like for like a little fun thing. I get it. You know, it's whatever. But this is like the real deal. This is the real deal. Okay, nothing says real deal more than the freaking judgment card. Like that is, that's what I'm saying. It's like the absolute, the judgment, I mean, they're dead. Like that's, that's pretty, that's pretty ended. Okay. Like there's nowhere to go but up. There's nowhere else to go. This is a work well done, a life well lived. And now you go up to, to look back and Make your own judgment about what your life was, what you did, what you accomplished, who you loved, how you will be. Rem I mean, it's like that whole, it's all of that, okay? It's all of that. So, okay, let's go ahead and clarify the judgment and then I will let you guys go and, and, and meditate on this reading and think about it. Please clarify. Ooh, that's too many cards. But this is important for you to see. It is important for you to see because I feel like this is actually the end of, of, of a prolonged lack, a prolonged heartbreak, okay? So that does apply, but I'm not pulling it. I'm just going to, I just wanted you to see it and know. Yes, 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 because, oh, I hope I wasn't supposed to pull it, because they're, they're giving me more of this other opinion. Someone's really either concerned with public opinion or other people's opinion or something or has something to do with this. They're saying that it's like they never thought you were going to love again or could fall in love. They, people would think that you or this person, oh, never after that horrible divorce or never after what happened or never after, you know, they're, they, they just would see you as sad or heartbroken or not open to love that's what it is another big blob of cards can we please have thank you we have the empress with the three of cups to clarify the judgment you're about to come into reunion with your empress with your everything Look at that just let the visual vibrations wash over you because sometimes i feel like you'll get your own downloads just by looking at the screen and looking at the pictograms because you could start to see them moving too okay oh my gosh this is this is i feel like this is happening you guys because because it's been actually earned it's actually a form of justice to have this love in your life it's almost like a reward for acting with integrity and and staying true to yourself because there is an act of staying true to yourself here leaving it all behind to create justice and victory for yourself in integrity in balancing of those scales 
Like you weren't gonna, you or this person weren't gonna go for something that wasn't balanced, that really wasn't the right fit for you. And other people look at your life or look at your love life and think whatever they want to think, but you know the truth. You know that it was just never right before. And this is like the reward for sticking to your sense of integrity, sticking to your truth, and actually walking away from something. So you could have left an old ideology behind or an old thought behind or an old, it could be a relationship, it could be, it could be really anything. But for some of you that will trickle down where that will happen just because of you falling in love with this person or and or it will trickle down and get into like your active action taking life where you're because because of this opening up for you you're also walking away from other things either way this is the reward you get the empress i mean guys all of this and the empress is just kind of crazy the empress this this person is just fertile in every sense of the word having to do with what a human being needs in a healthy happy loving relationship like they just have everything they're fun too they're fun you guys have fun together you guys are like best friends musketeers okay and with this venusian shield i feel like they really do have it all like they're vibrating to the planet of venus and it's like they inspire you to act that way in return. Okay, it's so Venusian. Remember what I said about romanticism and being romantic and really caring about what someone else is feeling and going through. And, and you know, so I feel like this person just naturally brings out the best in you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. This person brings out the best in you. And other people never thought that you that that would be expressed out of you because of of your of their perceptions of your limitations you love this person so much that you just want to keep giving good things this is like this is this reminds me of like Liz Taylor and Richard Burton how he just loved to give her those big jewels and like lots of big jewelry and she would just go psycho over it and he just loved to get her reaction you know like that's what I feel like this is it's like you or this person someone falls in love here with someone who's just like like just to watch them smile and to, to watch them light up to keep the energy going to keep this generation of love and conversation and light and love happiness and sunshine and warmth, the warmth of that glow. It's like you just get such a kick out of making them happy because when they're happy and they're always, they, they look like a really happy person. They look pretty self-satisfied to me. It's like it rejuvenates itself. Like you and this person just feed each other great energy. I don't know how else to put it because the more you give to them, the more they... And then you take all of that. You take the water, you take the, the staves, you take the sunshine. So it's like you're feeding that source of, I spat, I'm sorry. So it's like you're feeding that source of energy and getting that energy back to you. It's really, it's very harmonious. I feel like this is exactly what you're supposed to be doing too. There is something a little bit like serious about this in terms of like the cosmos and the universe. I feel like this is a very small sliver of people I'm talking about first of all that I'm channeling because I feel like this is so ideal as far as um, how people are really supposed to interact how, how love relationships are actually supposed to go most people are in an unbalanced partnership or in a toxic cycle. This is what a relationship looks like when you exit a toxic cycle and you enter a reward cycle, okay? This is what these you and this person are gonna be doing. It's a cycle of reward, where it's just goodness going back and forth between you. And it's like feeding each other good things, positive things, happy things. It's not a cycle of toxicity where it's only, okay, yucky stuff going back and forth so i feel like number 
So I feel like this is definitely not for everyone, but I feel like it's really healthy for people to listen to because there are so few couples like this. There are so few examples of this type of relating, of this type of relationship that it's it's really important that when these people are um, engaging in this this really harmonious and organically, authentically healthy give and take, that equality, that reciprocity, it helps to raise the vibration around because people can see that and it's easier to get into a healthy relationship when you see it around you, when that's what's reinforced around you. Okay, so this is really interesting, guys. I like where you guys took me today. I really do. Okay, guys. Um, I don't know if there's... I don't think there's any... I, I'm not feeling the oracle. I don't think there's any oracle. I think this is just something to know. I feel like this is something to know. And to know how to recognize it for what it is. If you are... the, If you're in, over here. Okay, you're going to bring this in quicker or... I mean, it's not going to be quicker or slower. It's It's... It's your own organic timing, but just know the elements involved here of, you know, maybe just look outside the box a little and, and consider someone just be, actually, you don't really have to do anything because this is just going to happen. Like whoever this is, you're going to meet them. It's going to be bam. It's going to be like a destiny moment, a moment of destiny, a major plot point. Okay. Where the whole story goes in a whole different direction. And a beautiful direction at that. Okay, my dears, take care. I love you guys forever. You guys are really great. And I love um, the activity and the commenting. I know I don't always like and, and comment back, but I see it. I always see it. So I, I love that we have this community. I am going to go live more, a lot more, in a few weeks in 2020. And um, Artigan and training starts Valentine's Day for any of us who don't have any plans for V-Day 2020. Um, remember, you've got to be psychic for this cycle. This cycle, you've got to be psychic. The last cycle, it was a different, it was its own special cycle. Every cycle is going to be different. So for this one, you got to be psychic. And to apply to be an Artigan in training, you send me a 10-minute video recorded reading and you can use any method of divination that you use so for me i use psychic channeling and these tarot cards for you if you freaking flip coins and then get things downloads okay whatever whatever you can focus on dominant energies for me okay and you can send that over to the first artigan at gmail.com and as a little as a little treat i'll send you one back okay yeah that's pretty cool um let's see Everything else is going to be coming out in the next few weeks, so stay tuned for that. If there's anything that you guys would like to see or see more of or see less of, feel free to comment down below. Let me know. And um, what else? What else? What else? I'm trying to think. Oh, there will be tarot card classes. There will be um, videos that you'll be able to download just like it'll be... I don't know, two and a half, three hours of me talking about the Empress. <laughs> Seriously, for I'm going to do this for all 78 cards. Yeah, I know. It's like, you guys know me. I love having these huge, big things. Oh, another thing. That's going to take, that's that's probably going to be 2020s. But just, just that's just something to know. Also, um, oh, so December bookings are all booked. So every, I haven't updated the website quite yet. I will later today, I promise. And the January bookings are now open. So yeah, now we're now I'm getting super like we're sticking to the plan here. Okay, guys. So um, if you'd like to book a reading with me, a private reading with me and ask me, ask me important questions about your life, feel free to sign up for January and it'll be visually easier to see once I update the website. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, I'm an accurate psychic, so I'm I'm planning to put stuff up. If you'd like to send me feedback that you want on the site, you can send me that. Otherwise, what I'm doing is I'm taking emails from my past querents when they're telling me that I'm right and that I'm accurate, and I'm just blotting out the um, the email address and you know all of the identifying details, and I'm going to be putting that up on the website just so that everyone can see 
that I'm super accurate and my great feedback. So those are just the, some of the things that are in the works, my dears. Okay. So take care guys. I love you forever and we'll talk soon. Bye.